Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome to a brand new series. Today we're gonna be playing Cold Express. It's gonna be a new Let's Try series. We're gonna have a couple of episodes of this. And uh, what is Cold Express, you might ask? Well, it came out on Steam around 10 days ago-ish, I think. It is developed by Asmodee Digital and it's a casual strategy board game. It's based in the Wild Wild West and it's pretty much based on the Cold Express, which, which was a famous train robbery board game according to Steam. And uh, you have to, you play as one of the six uh, bad people here, you can see them here, yeah, bad train robbers. And uh, you have to plot your way to actually steal the loot from the wagons on the actual train. And uh, of course, the other the other guys, either controlled by AI or if you're playing online, contra controlled by other people, will try to do the same, and they will try to prevent you from winning the most stuff. So uh, let's jump into the game. We're gonna be playing the story mode. You can play the classic and just play against the AI to get as much money as possible. But we can go into the story mode, and right here we have all six desperados here we have Doc, Cheyenne, Tuco, Bell, Django and Ghost. As you can see I have played a bit of Bell, Django and Ghost storyline here. Not that much but we still have a lot of play through. So uh, for each and every one you have some comics which you can then unlock farther than you play which is pretty damn awesome. So uh, let's start with the first guy shall we? We're gonna play as Doc and we're gonna run, jump into the chapter one. I'll see how it goes. Now this is transported from the board game and this is a board game so you'll see we actually play cards to actually move our characters. So let's just load in. It's gonna be a story mission. The first one should be pretty easy uh, but we'll see. So uh, our story, last cards. The marshal is accusing Doc of hiding illegal material in the caboose. The hooks have been tampered with and the last cards will be tad soon. Whatever loot they contain will be left behind and could fall into the wrong hands. Rob the strong boxes from the last two cars before they are unhooked. Which we means we have three turns and each turn is uh, developed into rounds. First one is scheming and the second one is stealing. So in the first one you scheme and you play your cards the way you want them to play and the in the second part then they are actually played. So um in, in this first round, as you can see, as he was scheming, we have four turns in one round. We have two normals, then we have a tunnel, which means that the other players cannot see our cards and we cannot see theirs. And then the turn is played in reverse order, and at the end, the last wagon gets unhooked from the train and is left behind. Bandits will jump to the next wagon, but the marshal and loot are lost. Okay. So uh, we can see the the wagon is pretty pretty long, or well, the whole train is pretty long, and uh, we are starting up here, and we need to get to the last two strong boxes. Is that the case? <clears throat> I feel that's the case. So basically, in this turn, we need to get to the pretty much the last of this. Okay, so um, this is how it's played. Uh, you have the cards. They were dealt randomly, you can get three more, but you know, you won't be able to do much. So right now, um, since this is the move card, we can move from one wagon to another, but if we go up first, then we can move on the roof, and on the roof you can move much fast, much further. So that's pretty good. Um, Bell here is probably gonna pick this thingy and move with it somewhere else. So right now, probably the best thing is, if we can go to this place, and loot that box, which we can do. Uh, gotta pay attention to what these guys are doing, which I usually forget to do. Right now our plan is to get that thing. We can't see what they're playing, they can't see what I'm playing, so we'll see. Now it's played in the reverse order, my plan is to actually loot that strong box in the, not the last turn, not the last uh, wagon, but the one in front, as you can see, they got they can shoot and bunch now. Round one, stealing. Let's see. We start, we're gonna go up. We could pick up this loot, but this is a story mission, so looting this is not really important. She's gonna, she's not gonna grab that one. Okay, well, then things are different. 
Now he shot her, it didn't do really much to her, but uh, she gonna get another card that she cannot play in her hand. So she's gonna have another card instead of something useful. So I was planning to go here. Now I'm gonna go this way. I guess she doesn't care about that. Well, we'll see. On the roof you can move much farther away. Oh, she's gonna pick it up. No, she's not gonna. Okay, well done. She's surprising. Surprising action. She's not gonna punch anybody. I mean, she has to play the card, even though there's no one around. So, that's just the way it is. We can go down here. Hopefully she didn't play like a punch card or something. We will see soon. Okay, she, she played the move card. Pretty good. <clears throat> and he just went down. She's gonna go down as well. There's no Marshall currently, I think. Or is he in the... He might be in the one of the first... Yeah, he's in the first wagon. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. This is now ours. Great. Now it's played... The turn is played in the other way around. Uh, so this should be fine. He can't shoot anyone. Because in here you can just shoot the opposite two. I believe. And up on the roof you can shoot farther. There we go. Last wagon is down. And... Trying to get rid of proof, I will not let you put the train and its passengers at risk. You will pay least you will pay this time. I'm not responsible for any of this. You are mistaken. No I'm not, you can talk all you want, but you'll be behind bar soon. Uh, so we have only three rounds in this one. And we go last now. Uh, I think they're they're all trying to move. But I I do not have a a way to actually grab these the box. Which means I need to basically grab some of that. Okay, good. Now I can steal on the next turn, hopefully. Unless she's gonna do it. Which might be very unfortunate. You can see we have the martial card, which means we can play it. Which means we can play it at some point. We're gonna try to steal stuff as well. Hopefully they leave this thingy. But I think as long as I grab this, we should be fine. And it should be done. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how it works now. She's gonna move that way. He's gonna move that way. They're all just gonna hang together. And she's gonna move there as well. Okay, that should make things very easy for us. I am not gonna play anything because I just drew some extra cards. They're trying to stealing this. Okay, they're gonna punch each other. When you punch someone, you can actually uh, select a loot that they have that they will drop. And then you can later on pick it up if you so desire. And we're now gonna pick this up and we should be fine, right? Yes. Doc finds it unusual for the marshal to be so suspicious. There is something going on aboard this train. Could the marshal be trying to frame Doc? And we have done it. We have done our first mission. Good job, boys. Good job. <clears throat> so, yeah. this The first one was pretty damn easy. The second one, probably not gonna be too hard. Uh, after that, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'll just load in. This this screen here is beautiful. I really do like it. As you can see, all six crazy people. Now, what do we have? The proof. The library car has been tampered with and is about to unhook. The train will split. Doc is convinced that the marshal is setting him up. He needs to gather evidence from the strong box to clear his name, but he can't afford to let other bandits get all the loot. Rob the strong box and get to the front half of the train by the end of round 3 and before any other bandit collects $2,000. Damn. This is gonna be tough. The last wagon is gonna get unhooked again. And I'm starting last right now. They're all drawing cards. And she's moving. Um, wait, I need to grab the strong box which is here. And I am here. Okay, so first things first. We're gonna run. We're gonna run there. We can get there. Then we're gonna move the marshal. If you move into the... We're gonna move the marshal now. If you move into the same place as the marshal is... Then uh, he's gonna shoot you and you'll get the empty card and you'll have to climb on the roof. So that's basically it. Okay, uh, play the marshal card so we can hopefully safely go down unless someone else played the marshal when we were in the hidden 
hidden part of the running. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, they all draw the extra card, so that's why they're not playing. That's fine. I was surprised I'm starting second. <laughs> okay, we should be fine. Now we're in the tunnel. Let's see what they played. Uh, he's gonna grab the loot. That's fine. I think these are 250 or 350 or something. And this one is 150. Not sure. Oh, she shot me. Great. Got one of the blind cards. Now we can move the marshal to her. He's gonna shoot her. And she's gonna go up on the roof. That's gonna screw her up. Which is pretty good. Which is what we desire. <clears throat> He's gonna go up on the roof. Tuco. And Cheyenne. What do you wanna do? Just gonna run around. Be happy about it. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> And I'm gonna go down. Let's hope on the next turn, no one moves the marshal before I can loot this. And the last wagon is gone. All the loot is gone as well. Sure. Marshal is having fun. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I do have the option still. So, she drew some cards. She's going up and down and I can steal stuff. <coughs> He's gonna move. He's gonna move. And she's gonna move, and I have to move as well, which I shall do. I need to get in one of the front cars. I'll try to do it so. And I'll just move once again. I don't think anyone played the Marshall, so I think Marshall will still here stay here and he's gonna get lost as well. So here we go. Hopefully in the next round we get an option to go up. Okay, I can grab this. Awesome. This is what we needed. No one actually got much money whatsoever right now, so we're fine. Unless they grab these jewels, it's not really an issue. She's gonna go there. No, exactly why. Sure. <coughs> okay, we're moving towards this line. How far are we? Not that far. We do have one more move, and we are gonna go here. So that should be quite fine. Oh, they're shooting each other. Sure. He's gonna shoot me. Bastard. Got a dud. Now, we're gonna move here. And we're gonna chill together. On the next line, I should start before him. And there are just three tur normal turns. Shooting again. Now, I need to just move. So, let's just move. As far as we can. He's gonna steal stuff. Uh, I think we just move and we're done. So that should be fine. I'm gonna try moving again. If it, that's of course not enough. And at the end we can possibly shoot someone if there's any need for that. But I don't think there will be any need. Don't think we... I think we'll just win after this turn. After her option. Uh, she's gonna shoot that lady. And I just need to move in here and we should be fine, right? We fine? No. Did I need to be in one of the front cars? I think I need to be, right? I can check here, right? We get to the front half of the train. Okay. Uh, sure, this should be fine. I'm in the front part of the train. At least this is... It seems it should be the front part of the train. Maybe I just need to wait till the end of the round? And I have no one to shoot. Fair enough. Okay. You ladies, just go ahead and deal your turn and goodbye. We done. I'm looking around, but I can't find any proof against me. Don't play smart. I now have the train full of witnesses. It's more than enough. Marshal, what's your issue? Doc can't run away now. The Marshal will use it as an ultimate proof that he's the one sabotaging the train. We must instead stay on the train and find a way to set things right. Good job. We've done the second part. Good job. Uh, we still have some time. Let's try and see if we can do anything on this part. Let's see how it goes. Let's see the story of Doc and the Marshal. Let's see what happens. It would appear that the Marsha does not like us that much. 
The marshal has found himself stranded in the rear half after the split. However, the train is going downhill and the rear half is not far behind. Furious, the marshal screams over the wind, a dog who is on the front half. That's a nice trick you play here. Got go hit the brake and I'll reconsider lowering your lifetime sentence. Sure, but we need to talk after that. This is a big misunderstanding. We'll see about that. Punch the locomotive to pull the brakes and meet the marshal by entering the car where he's located by the end of round three. Okay, that is some crazy stuff. That is some crazy stuff. I need to go here and punch it and see what they played. Shoot. Okay, and she's moving. Okay. Um, I need to move. I go up and then move. But there's nothing I can do after that. Huh. That's kind of unfortunate. But you know what? I think this is going to be my best move still. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I can't see what they're playing, of course. Uh, we'll just move up to the front. We should be fine. Now it's played in the reverse, the reverse order. I will just use my shoot ability up here. That's gonna be it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He does not have anyone to shoot. He can shoot me down here, a oh, bastard. Totally forgot about that. Me, lady, you're gonna do nothing? Sure. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna hang up with your, with my friend up here. She's gonna just steal some money. We don't really care about them stealing much right now, so that's all fine and good. And yeah, shoot him. That's fine. Don't shoot me. And we can now move to the front. And then we're gonna shoot him because he's a bastard. Because he shot us before. Do not take kindly to people shooting us. I don't think we can... Uh, it's gonna be probably hard to meet the marshal in the proper spot. We'll need to move the marshal ourselves as well. Hey gal, you got shot, you bastard. And Bell actually shot him from far away. Okay, this is a long turn. Now that's good. All bandits in the roof of the card marshal is is in get a neutral bullet card each the marshal moves one card toward the caboose sure um bell played the marshal move we're gonna go down what's he doing he's going down as well well i'm starting before him so oh, of course she goes first i'm gonna punch that thing Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go back up. Hopefully he doesn't punch me. It would be very good. I think he just drew some cards, so that's fine. Uh, I will actually draw some cards as well. What do we get? Oh, we get a move, which is what I'm gonna use on the last turn. We're gonna get a move, and then we'll see where the marshal actually lands. And hopefully that's gonna be fine. She's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot. As long as he doesn't punch me, everything should be fine. But Bell's gonna move him away. That's not good, Bell. Don't move him farther away, please. He's gonna go down. Yeah, shoot the lady. Shoot the lady. He's gonna go down as well, so that's fine. You stay there, bro. You stay there. He's moving. Back. Okay. <clears throat> and we're gonna punch this thingy. Punch the brakes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> put the, your hand in the fire. Good job. The locomotive slows down enough for the back of the train to reattach. The conductor stares at dog puzzle before bringing the train back at normal speed. Okay. <laughs> Poor conductor. Uh, we need to move the marshal so we're gonna go back up we'll see hopefully no one really moves the marshal back from me that would be great and she's just gonna go down okay 
I think at the end of the turn, the marshal actually moves toward the locomotive, but I'm not sure if that's what it says. There's the timer already. Hmm, it was fast. And we're gonna just move as far as we can, which is down here. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, she's gonna shoot me. Well, that's unfortunate. And he's gonna shoot nobody. Because he's a loser. Tuko, you're a loser. And I'm a winner. Angry Marshal. Oh. He went backwards. That's great, Mr. Marshal. Now we have four rounds to bring us together with the Marshal. Oh, this should be doable. In two rounds. She's moving the Marshal. Uh, I'm gonna move, then I'm gonna go down. Uh, as long as nobody moves the marshal, we should be fine. And I'm gonna then move the marshal. Come on, let me start. And uh, that should move him to me, no matter where he is. And if that doesn't move him to me, I'll just move again. Let's hope that works. Let's hope we don't get punched or shot or, you know, something bad. We need to just get together with him. And now, first thing first, we move. Hey, Belle. I came here to say hi to you. Okay, she's moving him there. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna just finish this, this round before we finish the episode. Hopefully it all goes well. Uh, we're gonna go down. And in the next round, we should just be able to move the marshal towards us, and that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, move him. Hey, sir. You wanna shoot me? Oh, okay. Doc is starting to wonder if the marshal is really far uh, framing him. <laughs> it's not the marshal, then who could it be? There we go, we did it! Okay, this is gonna be for the first episode of... Oh, totally forgot the name of the game. It's Cold Express, don't you worry. Um, I like it. I like the game. Hopefully you guys like it as well. It's it's something special, it's something different. Uh, I do like the Wild Wild West. I do like the Cowboys and all that stuff. So hopefully there's going to be a couple more episodes. Hopefully you guys like it. Of course, it's the first episode. Go ahead and share it, like it, comment on it. And of course, if you, if you really enjoyed it, push that subscribe button. But for now, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Go crowd.